work experience. So I had all these kind of interests, I had the kind of cheek and the, and the chutzpah I was kind of learning through some of these things. I could, felt like I could write a bit, I felt like I could listen, I could talk, I could argue. And I was interested in, in current affairs and in the world in general. Yeah, so yeah. write up your interview with them. They'll probably just say yes, why not? Most of the time in life, Woody Allen said 80% of success is just showing up. You know, it's kind of, most of the time you just have to ask. I think passion is an incredibly important thing, whether you're talking about television, whether you're talking about journalism, the media in general. There's so much competition that you can't afford to be somebody who busks through it. The thing to take away from this is that it is actually trying, actually taking apart and putting yourself forward to try and take the opportunity rather than hoping the opportunity comes along to you. You know, it's a lot of insight. Because, you know, with, without that, you know, we might think a lot about, um, you know, how do I get in, you know, I've got to get onto some sort of grad scheme out there, how am I going to find it? But it seems like, in a way, it can be a lot simpler than a lot of us think, especially what Jonathan was saying about just, just contact people, just email people, call them up, not without being a pest, but just, like, you know, put yourself forward. And I think a lot of people forget that. So it's nice to get a bit of insight. Variety of careers across the board. So um, Nick, who write, like works for the Times. Then you've got um, Jonathan, who works in, more in TV, and Lisa, who works in the news. I think it was interesting to see the wide variety of options there are out there. It was a really useful event because um, they shared their expertise and many things they've learned over the years. Um, and yeah, we got to ask them lots of questions, which is really good to get like first-hand advice. And plus, they're all quite young, so they're not, you know, like. Um, old relics of the journalism industry, they kind of know what it's like to be a young journalist. I thought they answered all the questions really well, they really took part, they really listened to everything we were saying. I thought it was, uh, they felt like a connection between them, they seemed to understand what we had gone through because they'd probably been through the same sort of things when they were looking to get a job like this. So it felt like a real connection between the crowd and them when they were answering our questions and it was really quite helpful, really, really good. Um, I think it was really good how um, there was no set theme really, uh, so it was really big variety in what was spoken about and how it was very interactive um, and it was really good actually to see that there are a lot of students in the room who feel the same way um, and who aren't really sure what they want to do even though they're passionate about journalism, so that was really good, it was just a really good event. I found particularly interesting what Nick Petrie said about the digital side of journalism and how The Times is working as a subscription paid service. I thought it was really useful, especially the question and answer session, I mean a lot of people, you could tell that loads of people were interested in it and being able to ask people who have experienced that was really useful, I mean I now, ha I now have a lot better of an idea as to how I can get into media and script and stuff, so I think it was really useful for that. For that. So I think it was really helpful and I think it was quite nice, it was like sort of different areas as well rather than, because I wanted to go into sort of print but there seems to be a lot of people that want to go into TV and other stuff so it was nice to have that um, sort of range and it's just nice to hear about how other people got into it and it sort of makes me feel a bit more optimistic about the future I think. I've always been interested in going to the field of journalism so it's great to hear from people like Lizo, my hero from Newsround um, and no, picked up some, some great tips um, throughout, I mean it's difficult finding that right path and we've definitely been directed really nicely today so it's great that Birmingham uh, and Red Brick have put on this event for us.